we saw how we can target elements based on the existence of an attribute then based on the value of an attribute and in this video we are going to do more things with values so let's start off with matching hyphenated attributes values so let's see an example and that is with the use of the pipe character this selector allows you to target paragraphs whose value begins with en or with en dash well at the beginning this may seem like a useless selector however it can be very powerful and very useful if you support many languages in your website for instance you may have a paragraph for en-us en-uk and then with CSS you can do your adjustments to each paragraph with a specific language then we have some other characters that we can use to match values by substring for instance we have the caret equal this selector is used to select elements whose attribute value begins with a specified value for instance if you have this rule you can know that this is not a local link it is an external link and you can add a styling to help the user and give him a sort of information that he will go to another page then we have the dollar equal this selector is used to select elements whose attribute value ends with a specified value for instance you can test whether the link is for a pdf or word file And then you have the star or asterisk equal. This selector is used to select elements whose attributes value contain a specified value. For instance, if you do something like that, it will select all of the sentences. It doesn't really matter if it is in the beginning or if it is at the end of the sentence or if it is only one word. 